what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com, again. Uh, this song is kind of a sentimental one. One, it's from uh, the movie The Blues Brothers. If you're, you know, old enough, you'll remember that flick. Great movie. You should check it out. Good, A lot of uh, legendary soul artists in it as well. So anyway, it's from The Blues Brothers. It's the opening of the movie, which is kind of a sentimental thing for guys like me. Uh, but then also it's like an unusual blues progression. So it's not your basic 12-bar blues. And I don't think I've broken down the blues quite like this before. Kind of like... The other thing about this tune is it was actually uh, the first like professional band I was ever in. We did this song, so it's kind of nostalgic for me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to break it down for you. It's a great little blues progression. And, oh, I also have some bonus uh, blues lessons in that link down there. You can check that link out. I really appreciate it. But enough of that. Let's zoom in. Here we go. All right, so here was kind of a cool blues progression that I was thinking about that's not your standard 12-bar blues, but it's still blues. And the other thing that's kind of cool about it, uh, but also a little more challenging, is that uh, we're going to play it in the key of B flat, which is, you know, we're going to have this B flat 7 chord here. I mean, you know, it shouldn't be too much more difficult than, like, playing an A, but, you know, it's just kind of good sometimes to play in one of the flat keys on guitar. So we're playing a bar chord right here on the 6th fret. You know, you take the regular bar chord, pull your pinky off, you got a B flat seven chord. So it starts with that, and then, so that's the one chord of the blues. Uh, the five chord of the blues is F seven. I'm gonna actually play an F nine chord here because it's just a real common guitar thing. So the F nine has the middle finger on the F note, which is the eighth fret of the A string, seventh fret of the D, and then the ring finger comes across the eighth fret of the G, B, and high E. So we're gonna play that as E flat, or I'm sorry, F9. So you got B7, B flat seven, see I'm saying not saying the flats. B flat seven to F9 back to B flat seven. Same thing again. Uh. So check it out, we'll kind of count it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Starts over again. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the main verse of this kind of blues. There's a really cool turnaround, and it also uses kind of a more, uh, you know, like chord used more in jazz. It uses a, a, a diminished chord, but it's not that hard to do, and it sounds great. You're gonna like so the it. second section. We're gonna take uh, that B flat chord, and we're gonna just play a regular B flat bar chord. Two, three, four. Then we're gonna take our pinky off, and you can even add this seven right here, which is the uh, ninth fret of the B. Then we're gonna play the four chord, and we're gonna just play it as a bar chord, a major bar chord. So we're going like this, the, uh, we're barring the sixth fret and playing that A major looking shape right there. For four. So here's that section, check it out. It's not done yet, but. got to play that that last chord we got to learn and that's the diminished chord we're gonna call it E diminished the weird thing about a diminished chord any one of these notes can be the root that's a weird thing about the diminished but let's just learn how to play it middle fingers on the root seventh fret of the A string ring finger is on the 8th fret of the D string, index fingers on the 6th fret of the G, and then pinky on 
the eighth fret of the B. So watch, uh, B flat major, B flat seven, E flat major, E diminished, then B flat seven, F nine, B flat seven. So I'm gonna play the whole thing now, here we go. B flat seven, F nine to B flat seven. Repeat, B flat seven, F nine, B flat seven, yeah. Next section, B flat major, B flat seven, E flat major, E diminished, B flat seven, F nine, B flat seven. And as I've given in other blues rhythm lessons, the B flat, when it's playing, when it's vamping on that B flat, like all those B flat sections right there, you can always mix up this kind of stuff. which I've given in other lessons. You know, you cover, if that's your bar chord, you can cover kind of a little A shape here, almost like that E flat seven. And then hammering on that major third of that B seven chord. So you could like cover the sixth fret of the GB and high E or even the D as well. And then you're gonna hammer up a half step on that G string. the bridge section is just a groove a little like tag and it starts on that root that B flat whole step down half step down then to the F so it's like and it does two of those okay now here is the bridge all the same chords E flat one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. B flat, two, three, four. B flat, two, three, four. A flat, two, three, four. A flat, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. Boom! Starts right over. So, you can play E flat nine instead of an E flat major. It's up to you, but one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. That was the uh, lesson. It's a fun little, uh, fun little blues progression. Hope you enjoyed it. I've got the bonus blues lessons right down there in that link. Thanks for hanging out for a bit, and hopefully I'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.